Why the sign of Libra? Hello and welcome to my channel. So we got this devil card for the present time and we got the seven of cups. So the devil card is a very interesting card in the tarot. Now, when you get this card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, be sure you come to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You may have some feelings now that you're not in control of your life, and sometimes this could happen as a result of your own actions. But more than often, it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action, take whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Being in, being in control. Even if, even if that's merely making a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Baby steps are important too. So that explains the devil card. It's about addictions, greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sex, sexual loss. We all know what uh, addictions are. Um, so we got this in the reading for you and it's paired with the seven of cups. Now the seven of cups is showing you got a lot of choices. A lot of options. Now, this indicates confusion. And it can point to disorganization and just having too much going on. So there's a need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well. So try to choose just a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully. You may start to feel overwhelmed. But just remember, you can control at least in some areas how much you're trying to take on. So, like I said, for the present time, the Devil card and Seven of Cups. Yeah, Libra, you could, this could be you, you with addictions, or someone coming towards you, or someone you know, or maybe just Devil energy. For an example of Devil energy, um, behaving badly, a, a troll, we all know what trolls are this, these days. Um, if you have a, anything, if you're doing anything online, you know people talk about how trolls always harass them. <laughs> uh, they, bo they bother people for no reason at all. That's a troll. Addictions, alcoholism, drug abuse, um, just anything that makes you feel like you're not in control and it causes a problem. And, um, and then there's too many options right here. So, it's pretty big, these two cards paired together coming up for your present time. So what we need to do is take a look at the rest of the reading so that we can get the complete picture. So we'll come back to these two cards. Now, let's move on over for now and take a look at if you're dealing with someone, how your person sees you. So they see you like the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards you can get in a reading. All Ten Cups are there. Ten is the tops. It's not short of any cups. So it's about happiness. Perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. Great card in the tarot. It's about a happy family life, even if you're single. So the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you, you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. Also, you could be spiritually fulfilled. That's a part of the picture here, too. And like I said, this is a good card to see regardless of any question. Uh, your person sees you, um, they could see you as thinking that this connection is a dream come true. Yeah, that's what the Ten of Cups is, a dream come true. Yeah. Now, it's with this Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is showing necessary efforts. You, have, you got a lot on your plate that you need to accomplish. Dedication to the task. 
It's a, it's going to be important dedication to the task at hand. But if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one can and should work all the time because the Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a period of really hard work. And this does not have to be a negative thing, but you have to be prepared for it. Yeah, because you can see this man, he's working really hard. He's working into the nighttime. Outside, and guess what? I don't know if you can see the picture, but it's raining really heavy. Those are huge raindrops. And it doesn't look like he, he's planning to stop work. Just because it's about to become nighttime and it's raining heavy. So it's a hard work period. And this, has, this is how your person sees you. They see you wanting to master this connection. You enjoy this connection with them. Um, yeah, you have a lot of passion and you're, insp you're inspired and you're motivated about them. And uh, you feel this is a dream come true for you. That's how your person sees you. Okay, let's take a look at how you see them. Like the Four of Pentacles. And you also see them like the Seven of Wands. Now the Four of Pentacles is about holding on to things, people, money, situations, longer than it's healthy or realistic. Now this card, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to. And whether others are clinging to you in an un unhealthy way. The Four of Pentacles, it's about fear, anxiety. It could be about money or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. So the key is to try, try to realize that being anxious and grasping it does not bring security. So you see your person as they're holding on really tight. Really tight. They're clinging. See how this man is on all fours. He's got his hands on his money and his feet on his money. And it looks like they're glued. Actually, they look like they're glued to his pinnacles. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see his face, but his eyes look like, like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain looks like it's about to explode. Unhealthy cleaning. So you see them doing this and... It's interesting because it's with the Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands, you could find in any, any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top. Things are going well. You should be feeling really good. Your projects are moving along. But you could still have some regular moments of self-doubt. Now would be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people, people because your thinking is clear. And you're likely to help someone out. You can help someone out by spelling things out for them. So this card is about being independent and thinking for yourself. So you also see this person as wanting to be the last man standing. They want to come out on top. They want to win this connection with you. But it looks like they're clinging on... They're having a hard time here. They're clinging on to whatever makes them feel secure. They could be feeling a bit insecure about um, this connection with you. But they want to win. They want to win this connection with you. But there's some unhealthy clinging here. They're holding on really tight to what makes them feel secure. So they, they might have some insecurities in this connection. But they want to win you. They want to be the last man standing. So let's take a look at why it's happening. So we got the Five of Pentacles. And it's paired with the Sun card. The Five of Pentacles, it can be a time when life is feeling less than secure. The important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. You could start to feel alone. But just know you've got the capacity to change that. So reach out. You might start to feel like you're being left out in the cold. As though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. Just realize that this is really not the case. So do the best that you can with what you have. But remember that the wise thing to do is if you need help is to go out and ask for it. Because asking for the help 
asking for help when you do this, um, the help you need will come. So, someone feels left out in the cold. Yeah, or someone could be feeling that they got their eyes on someone who they feel is not treating them the way that they should. So this could be you, Libra, feeling this way, or your person mistreated. Now it's with the sun card. The sun card, things are going well. Your finances, they're likely to be in great shape. Now this doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is probably not really high on the list. Well, that's what the sun card says, but I know for me, money is high on the list. Really high. Now, the good thing is that the sun card is about socializing. It's a great time to meet new people. Get out and about, even if it's online these days. Um, if you're looking for a new job, it's the sun card is, is showing it's right around the corner. Yeah, the sun card, you see how it pops out over all the cards that are here. So, it's a bright, beautiful, sunshiny time so the other reason why it's happening is the sun card um, when it comes to relationships it's about adding sunshine to your person's life and that's what you do or the both of you do for each other but let's recap this reading so that we can get the complete picture so Libra like I said your person they see you wanting it all with them. The Ten of Cups. You don't want any cups to be short. Because it's not. Because you got the Ten of Cups. End all, that's the end all be all. Everything is just wonderful. It's, it has the potential to go to marriage. Family. Start a family. Yeah, they see you wanting it all with them. And they see you willing to work really hard. To make it work. Or to get what you, to get this connection to stay strong. They see you, you know, you're determined. Uh, you got a lot of passion and motivation towards them and this connection. And like I said, you see them, that's how they see you, but you see them as, um, uh, because we got the devil card here. And we got this. Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. Yeah, you see your person feeling left out in the cold by you because it could be because they've got some addictions. And so a lot of times that's how you handle the issues that they have with addictions. You you leave them out in the cold. That's, that's what I'm picking up. So... But your person, they want to win this connection. They want to come out on top. Even though they got issues, they got addictions. And then it looks like with the Seven of Cups here, uh, I'm picking up that they could have a lot of things going on. A lot of things. If there's not a lot of options with other people, then they just got too much going on. So it looks like a lot of times you leave them out on the cold. <laughs> you, like this lady, if you can see the Five of Pentacles is the card. It's above why happening. That's the Five of Pentacles. It looks like she was either put out the house or her friend is walking her away. Like, don't go in there. And it looks like the dog is barking at her. Like, you know, get the heck away from here. So it looks like you make your person feel this way because you don't know how to handle whatever it is they're going through. With addictions, it's not always fun. It's not always easy, easy dealing with a person that um, uh, is having some issues whereas um, things are not in control. They feel like they're not in control of certain things in their life so there's some struggle here 
And then they got a lot going on with the Seven of Cups. So you leave them out in the cold sometimes. So they're trying to cling on and hold on to this connection. But it looks like it's in an unhealthy way. Because they got things they need to deal with. Really, they need to deal with it before they... Before they attempt to either come towards you or before they attempt to make things right with you. It looks like they need to deal with this, the situations that they've got going on. Well, they're clinging on, they're clinging on to this connection really tight. Because they, like I said, they want to be the last man standing. They want to win. They don't want... They don't want you to walk away. They want to win you. And then it looks like you you want you got passion for this person. You want the end all be all with this person. But they're going through a lot. A whole lot. It looks like you 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 make your person really happy with the sun card here. You add sunshine to their life and they it looks like they could add a lot of bright and happy days to your life too because the sun card is really powerful but the way you handle this person yeah a lot of times they feel like you just you're ready to abandon them just leave them out so they're clinging on to you in this connection in a really unhealthy way yeah, because they're dealing with things. They're dealing with their own problems. And then they're trying to hold on to you. So, good luck with that, Libra. Yep, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, addictions, they're not easy. But I think we all have them. Whether it's mild or whether it's really heavy or strong. We all got something that we, we, do, we go through and we deal with. We deal with. We deal with. 